Hi, I'm Adam from DoodleNoDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to use ScreenFlow which is the screen capture application that I use for doing my tutorials. Um, when you start with ScreenFlow you are presented with your little window for setting your capture options. Now you can select the, because uh, I have two desktops, two windows set up at the minute, two monitors, <laughs> I can select which one I want can select whether you would like to record an external video from your eyesight or video camera and you can have sort of a video within a video effect and um, it's got your audio selection there whether you've got an external microphone or not I would suggest use an external microphone but all of mine are broken so I'm using my internal one then you can select whether you'd like to record the computer audio say if you're recording a shot of a video or some application sounds need to be recorded it's better to do that with a computer audio than with your microphone and a big red recorder button. When you start recording, you're presented with your countdown and your shortcut to stop recording, which is very important. Then, when you've started recording, it's just like your normal computer, but you're recording it. And you can go around and show your tutorial, whatever you'd like to do. Open some windows. Type something. And there you have it, you're recording some software. When you're finished, you use the command. And ScreenFlow will open in its little editor that it comes with. You'll have your video. And when you've started recording, it's just like your normal computer, but you're recording it. And there you have your screen capture with your audio track and your video track. Now ScreenFlow has a lot of features you can do here so when you start recording it doesn't seem like there's, you can do much but it's really, you, it does its work in the edit. You can use these tabs over here to select these different ways to manipulate your video. The video properties tab, the first one, which is has some very nice effects you can scale your video down, move it around, add a little reflection which I quite like, looks very nice. You can even change the scaling of your video. Go a bit crazy if you want. And then using screen flow you can add a video action brings up a little tutorial there if you've never used it before and with your call out action you can then edit your video properties again I'm just going to set them back to default and then you have a transition here on the sort of video track, this little yellow block, which you can move and resize. Started recording, it's just like your normal computer. And I find that's a very nice tool for playing with the video. Um, the next tab on the selection is the audio properties. Select your audio track. You can change the volume, you can mute it, you can do you can have a few effects. Nothing spectacular, but I, I like to add a bit of presence to my voice to make me stand out a bit more. Um, the next tab is the screen recording properties, which can add some nice effects. You can add a click effect. I like to use the invert thing, so when you click, even if you'll be able to see, it inverts the mouse. So it shows you click, you can add some, some click sounds and things. You can also add... Um, keyboard effects to show what keys you've been pressing. I found that here. Always typing. You can see what keys you've been pressing so you can show everybody what you're doing. Um, the next section is the call out section which again has some very useful features. If you add a call out another tutorial as you can see it's selected the mouse pointer and then greyed out the rest of the background. You can edit this, you can change the opacity, you can 
less, less is harsh. And you can zoom in. You can change various different parameters to suit your needs. I like to add a bit of a feather, it just makes it a bit more smoother and more professional. And you can also though, the feature that makes it look a lot better is you can add a duration, like a build in, and then build out. So that it doesn't just jump in, it's nice and smooth. And that's how you do the cool little mouse effects with the zooming around. Another effect you can do with screen flow is you can highlight the foremost window to add another call out. Then this allow you to highlight that, that window and then zoom in so you can So in some programs where you would select a window to capture with screen flow, you capture everything and then you can later on select that window and do as you wish with it. Another feature that is very useful for um, screen capture software and saves a lot of time is being able to add text. You don't need another external editor with screen flow, it just all comes in the box. text, there you have it. You can alter the font size and the various different background parameters and you can the alignment and anything you can just when you want to add text to anything like you would normally in any other video application and as you can see it appears on the bottom here. You can stretch that as long as you want so you can have it on with the entire video or just as an area of it if you want. You can also add it to the beginning or end of a video. So you can have credits or your website or anything you'd like. And that just adds it to the end of the video. Now the next tab is just the media tab. So you can import files of images or sound or video that you've recorded elsewhere or you've got from somewhere that you want to use in your tutorial you can just add them in easily. Now when you've created your finished screen capture and you've played with it as much as you like you can export it using the ScreenFlow export function which again is very customizable. You can customize all of the presets with the to, with the video. You can change the compression types. You can change the frame rates. Any like you would with any other video software. Or you could just select one of the various different um, settings it has. Whether you want to do sort of DV setting, which is quite high quality, or you want it to be a Windows Media file, or whether you want it you know, for the internet. Uh, web high quality and then you just hit export port bar will appear at the bottom and it will export your screen capture with all of your text and call outs that you've made now this is just a very quick tutorial how to use screen flow but I hope it's been useful to you you can find more tutorials on my website at dudinodrama.com. I use ScreenFlow for all of my tutorials because it is so useful and it just makes everything so fast and keeps everything together. You don't have to open iMovie and import the video you've just captured and then cut it up and add various different effects using iMovie or Premiere Pro or whatever video software you've got. It just all comes with screen flow. And when you finish exporting it, let's go over my desktop. 
that we have the finished video. Then when you start recording, it's just like a normal computer. And then we have all of the various text appearing and keys and pressed and the call outs all recorded in the video. I've been Adam from DudinoDrama.com and I hope you found this tutorial useful.